Hello, this is Logan here, and today we have our FXR motor here again, and we're going to do, this time we're doing the valve clearance. You can do them while the head is on the motor, that is very simple, but we are going to do it off the motor just because this one is assembled and ready to go back in the bike. So we've got a cylinder head over here, which we've got stripped already. The tools that we are going to need for this, we need... If you're doing it in the bike, you need something to turn the motor over. If you've got the rear wheel on the ground, you can put it in top gear and spin it over instead of using this wrench. Need a tool to take your cam cap off if you need to change the shims. If you don't need to change the shims, you do not need to take the cam caps off. Another useful tool is a magnet. So these buckets here sometimes can be very difficult to get out once they're in over the valve. And so a magnet, a nice strong magnet, just sit it on, pull it off, easy as and the last and most important tool that we need is this this is our feeler gauge so this has all the the different clearances and sizes that we need for measuring shim clearance between the uh, the top of the bucket and our camshaft i'm just drawing a wee diagram here this here this is what we're measuring this is the clearance between the bucket and the camshaft and it's controlled or measured by this shim so the shim this wee bit here that's the bit where we make our adjustments make it smaller or bigger to make this clearance here within factory specification now the first thing that we need to do to be able to measure the clearance is we need the camshaft in the head so we're going to quickly assemble it now that we have our head ready to measure, we're going to grab our feeler gauge here and we need the two sizes, you can't really read them but they are on there. We need to know the manufacturer specifications for the valve clearance for this motor. I have it actually written on the top, so 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 millimeters for the exhaust cam and 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 millimeters for the intake cam. Now. The exhaust has more clearance because the exhaust gets hotter so the valve stems expand more and so they need a bit of extra clearance. So these two feelers here, they are the minimum and maximum clearance for this. The cam profile there, we are measuring this side here. Make sure the cam is facing upwards before you take your measurement. Now when we're putting our feeler gauge in here, we want very light friction. So we want it to be able to fit in there, but we don't want it loose. So now we'll try the other one here. And we just slide it in. So this one here has a tighter fit, just grabbing on it, which is good. And so that is at the maximum. So ideally it would be halfway between. This here, it's very hard to see, that is the shim and it has a measurement on it. So this is the easiest way to figure out which one you need. This says 1.75, that's in millimetres. So that clearance there was at the maximum, which was at 0.3 of a mil. If we want it halfway between the two, we need 0.05 of a mil added to this shim. So this is 1.75, so that means we would want 1.8 millimetre shim. Now most camshaft specialists, even the manufacturer, you should be able to buy these. They're like 10 bucks, new shim. So once we've got a new one of them, you just sit it in there. There's a nice wee relief. Put your bucket in, make sure there's a little bit of oil in there so it slides in nice and smoothly. Sit your cams in. But yeah, so you do that all four and you're away laughing. And this is a must have, but always have an oil can with a nice thick oil in there so you can put a little bit in all the journals when you're putting it together because... A little bit of lubricant goes a long way. Another tip before I go, when you've got a motor apart, little things like this where there is a breather, you know, breather hole under here like that, where something small could fall down and then you'd have to strip the entire motor to get it out. Likewise for the intake, just a nice clean rag, a nice wee cap, just so if you're working up here and you drop something, then you, you know, you're, you're dotting your I's and you're crossing your T's. That's all we're going to do today. So um, thanks for stopping in for this quick wee video. And I hope you learned how to do the clearances on your motorcycle.